Hmm. So those remind me a little bit of the downy cells, but I noticed that they're pushing, they're not doing the Dutch skirt merging around. They're pushing things out of the way. So I wondered if maybe they're like lymphoid blasts, but you're going to tell me they're something totally different. So honestly, when I would look at that, my gut reaction would be like circulating lymphoma cells. Oh, lymphoma. Okay. But they are AML blasts. AML blasts. Oh, okay. Which is part of my, everybody's blasts look different. Yeah. Spiel. Because those are AML blasts, and that is a circulating lymphoma cell. Oh, wow. And so it is merging around its neighbors, but that doesn't matter. It's actually lymphoma in this case. Yeah, and look at that nucleolus. Yeah. And then, again, sort of when you get your diffuse large B cell, which this happens diffuse to be, uh, you can get that blue back in the cytoplasm. So mm. circulating lymphoma cells can mimic blasts. It's one of the reasons why I am really reluctant to call blasts outright until I have flow okay. because I've seen lymphoma cells mimic blasts and vice versa. I've even seen plasma cells that I thought were blasts and then um, and then the person who who did the workup was like an experience like really, uh, really experienced somatopathology. He started off with the blast screen, then he did a lymphoma screen, and then he finally added the plasma cell, and they were plasma cells. Is the patient had myeloma? The patient had, well, plasma cell or leukemia. Plasma cell leukemia. And, and then, yeah, myeloma. But as you've taught me, one of, the, one of the many things I've learned from you in the years we've worked together is that plasma cell neoplastic processes can look wild and crazy and weird, and plasma cells, when they're neoplastic or dyscrasia, whatever, they don't necessarily look like regular plasma cells. And I've seen ones that look like high-grade lymphomas or blasts in skin. And then you were like, well, I think it could be plasma cells. And sure enough, it was. So that really opened my eyes. I was blown away by that. Yeah. So I think that um, plasma cell neoplasms are sort of like the melanoma of the heme path world. They look they like, like anything. anything. So, so the point is this person probably had a, a large B-cell lymphoma like in a lymph node or a tissue somewhere, and then some of those cells got in the blood and floated around, right? right? And then the tech probably turned this in for blasts. Yeah, because if you didn't know the history, you would think it's a blast, right? Absolutely. Or huh. the, the other thing you have to consider is that patients that have a history of lymphoma and then get chemotherapy can either have recurrence of their disease or can get a therapy-related myeloid neoplasm. Oh. So it could technically also Interesting. be a blast, which is why I hold off for... Well, and let me ask you, I'm sorry for diverting again, but nucleoli, the, the, you know, I think in on H&E stain, nucleoli are often like kind of a purpley red color. But here, this is like a circle that's kind of high, less pigmented, like paler than the rest of the nucleus, right? Yeah. And so, but but I think some of the ones we showed earlier, they look darker. But anytime you have like a little circular Circle. area of, of different color in the nucleus, that's probably a nucleus, huh? If it's like distinct like that. Okay, yes. cool. That's helpful.